Are you ready to revolutionize the way you create videos? Meet Levy, the groundbreaking software transforming text into high quality, lifelike videos. With Levy, you get the power to turn your ideas into visually stunning videos, all with a few keystrokes. Imagine creating videos that are not just realistic, but also artistically crafted and temporally coherent. Levy uses advanced diffusion models to ensure your videos aren't just visually appealing, but also make sense in motion. Whether you're making a film, designing a game, or unleashing your artistic creativity, Levy has got you covered. And the best part? Levy is built to learn and adapt. It's powered by a massive dataset of 25 million text video pairs, ensuring a rich variety of styles, scenes, and characters. This means whatever your vision, Levy can bring it to life with exceptional quality and creativity. But it's not just about the technology. Levy is user-friendly too, designed to be easily installed and operated on your PC. No need for complex setups or steep learning curves. It's all about making video creation accessible, enjoyable, and, most importantly, stunning in quality. Ready to install it with one click let's get started first if you're new to my channel you're going to need pinocchio so pause the video and head over to pinocchio.computer download and install it this is the magical program that allows us to have this awesome one click install feature if it wasn't for pinocchio we would have to do the install process manually and we are almost in 2024 so manual installation should be a thing of the past now that you have pinocchio installed launch it and click on discover depending when you are watching this video but since right now Levy is new it should be here right on the discover page if you're watching this video somewhere in the future you'll have to search for Levy. Hey, real quick, it takes me a lot of time to create these videos. Please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to AI Controversy. Also, if you click into the description, all my videos showcase my Linktree account labeled Awesome AI Tools. I only endorse and recommend tools that I personally use. So if you plan to use or sign up to any of these tools, please consider signing up through my link as it helps me to continue with this channel. Okay, now back to the video. Now simply click download, then install and wait. The initial download and install process took me around 18 minutes. But don't worry after that. All you'll need to do is launch it from the Pinocchio launcher. However, before we continue, let's take a look at the GitHub page to see some examples. Pretty cool samples, directly on their GitHub page. They showcase a lot of very cool samples. However, they are cherry picked for sure. So before we start generating our own, I am going to head over to Replicate to generate the samples, just for this video. And yes, I do have it locally installed on my PC thanks to Pinocchio, but my PC isn't the best with running a screen recording app plus my video editor, 1000 Chrome tabs, and these AI tools. So in that case, let's launch the web demo and get started. This is where you'll enter your text prompt and here is the sampling method. By default it is set to DDPM. Looks like they have DDIM and Euler Discrete. The width is set to 512 and height is set to 320 by default. The steps is set to 50 by default and the guidance scale is at 7. Quality we have 9 with a maximum of 10. And by default the seed is blank for randomization. You can check interpolation to get 61 frames output. And here you can check super resolution which will scale the video 4x. And last we have the FPS which is 8 by default. Now that we went over the settings, let's generate some samples. I'll leave everything default and use the prompt a cyborg in a neon lit city. Nice. This generated in 11.52 seconds. Let's check out the examples so I can get an idea on how to prompt this better. This looks pretty cool so I'll take this prompt a panda taking a selfie, 2k, high quality. I'll slightly modify it and use the shark attacking a boat, 2K, high quality, okay, maybe not slightly modified, but I kept the same 2K and high quality element from the prompt. Let's see what we generate. Not really feeling this one, but regardless, it took 11.41 seconds to generate. I'll switch the prompt to a monkey taking a selfie, 2K, high quality, and see what we get. Generated in 11.53 seconds. Let's mess with some of the settings. Let's use DDIM. Very cool. DDIM was way better. Let's try Euler Discrete. Generated in 11.52 seconds. Looks like DDIM was the better sampler for me. Since stable video diffusion default is 576 by 1024, let's generate in that width and height. Whoa, 
Actually, I needed to change the width and height, but this generated in 49.82 seconds. But we can see the deformation with the double heads. Let's switch the width and height. Very cool. This one generated in 50.04 seconds and has two monkeys. Let's reset back to default but use the super resolution. Let's leave the default resolution but use the DDIM sampler and check super resolution to get a 4x upscale. This will bring our video to 2048 by 1280 instead of the 512 by 320 resolution. Nice. This generated in 7.76 minutes. Let me download this and double check the resolution. Yup, as you can see it sure was upscaled for X of its original size of 512 by 320 resolution. Now, changing the resolution to generate at 576 by 1024 caused some deformation adding in two monkeys. However, it took only 50 seconds to produce. Using the default setting and checking the super resolution did not add deformation and we scaled twice the amount but took 7 minutes. I'm curious to see how frame interpolation does. So let's use default settings, uncheck super resolution and use frame interpolation. Okay, so it looks like I hit my limit and now I'm required to sign in. Okay, so now I am signed in. I've added the same prompt I've been using which was the monkey taking a selfie, 2K, high quality changing the sampler to DDIM and checking frame interpolation. Okay, so it looks like I need to enter my credit card information since I have met the limits. This is good though, because now we can explore the pricing. So here is the pricing for Replicate.com. Here it says you only pay for what you use on Replicate, billed by the second. When you don't run anything, it scales to zero and you don't pay a thing. Let me set up my billing. Once you're set up, you can set your spend limit here. This is so you don't accidentally dig yourself into a hole. Let me set my spend limit to $5. Cool. Now let's go back to where we left off. So the settings are back at default and I set the prompt to a monkey taking a selfie, 2K, high quality changing the sampler to DDIM and checking frame interpolation. One more time, let's go. Very cool. So with frame interpolation, it generated in 4.87 minutes and made the video clip 7 seconds long. Pretty cool. But how much did this cost me? Let's see. Well, looks like that generation cost me 41 cents. I can definitely see myself getting carried away and generating without a care so it's a good thing for those spend limits. At that rate we could get around 10 to 12 generations and we would hit the $5 spend limit. Well, it's a good thing in the beginning of the video we went ahead and installed this locally using Pinocchio. So, we've seen Levy in action, transforming text into amazing videos. It's clear that Levy is a game changer for anyone passionate about video creation. The interface is user friendly, and with Pinocchio, installation is a breeze. Plus, we got a taste of budgeting with Replicate.com's pricing, which is super handy. In short, Levy is your go-to tool for bringing ideas to life. It's perfect for filmmakers, content creators, or anyone eager to explore new tech. Remember, with Levy, your imagination is the only limit. If you like this guide, hit like and subscribe for more. Can't wait to see what you create with Levy. Keep creating and stay inspired. See you in the next video.